up beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Andy aka the dynamite natural I make natural hair and girl talk videos so if you love this sort of content don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each and every single time I post a new video okay today I'm going to be sharing with you some natural hair mistakes that you are making on your hair that is making your hair dry and not allowing you to retain moisture as much moisture as you need so let's just jump right into this natural hair mistake you may be making so the very first one is consistently heat styling your natural hair apart from um heat products damaging your hair they stand your hair stands a high chance of not retaining moisture when you use too much heat products consistently and constantly use products on your hair with especially without heat protectants if you're using too much heat products like heat tools like um blow dryers and flat irons without any heat protectant it's not going to allow you to retain moisture your hair is going to be dry and above all of that it is going to get damaged so if you're going to be using any heat product or heat tools make sure that you use um a heat protectant do it sparingly and make sure that if you don't know what to do make sure that you do it with a professional the second natural hair mistake that you, you may be making is never clarifying your hair now most naturals or all of us naturals let me say we are we try to avoid shampoos as much as we can because shampoos strip our hair of moisture and prefer to just use non shampoos that don't have sulfates in them and we also try to do as much co-washing as we can and then we don't use clarifying shampoos if you don't know what clarifying shampoos are clarifying shampoos are shampoos that contain sulfates sulfates are some kind of detergent in shampoos that actually help to cleanse your scalp but the thing with sulfate is that too much of it or sulfate in general whether it's too much or not they tend to strip our hair of moisture and dry out our hair but they do have their purposes so you should use it once in a while to clarify your hair and get rid of products build up consistently using co-washes and um, non sulfate shampoos on your hair is good because it helps you to retain um, moisture for the time being but over using them does not allow you to get rid of products build up and when you have products build up on your hair it's not going to allow your newer products that you're applying every day to absorb into your hair you're going to have product build up so you want to use a clarifying shampoo once in a month or once in two months depending on your regimen use a clarifying shampoo to remove products build up on your hair so that your hair can absorb moisture absorb new products that you're applying daily because as much as co-washes and non sulfate con containing shampoos help you to retain moisture for the time being overusing them causes products build up and when there's products build up your hair cannot absorb as much moisture from the new products that you are adding daily I hope I made that clear. The third mistake that you may be making that is not allowing your hair to retain as much moisture as you should or, or as it should is using um, cotton pillowcases and cotton head scarves. You should always try as much as possible to use a satin head scarf like this one I have on or a silk head scarf or a silk pillowcase or a silk satin pillowcase if you can't afford a satin pillowcase or you don't have one at the moment you can just get a regular satin scarf and place it over your pillowcase when you want to sleep and then it's going to save as a protectant for your hair okay so avoid using cotton bandanas hair scarves and as such as much as you can i know some of them have cute designs but they're also satin head scarves and bandanas and stuff like that that will help you to retain moisture and have cute designs too the next one is using a towel to dry your hair instead of a a t-shirt now you shouldn't use towels to, to dry your hair towels will 
take out the moisture that you've spent time during your wash day to infuse into your hair so you want to avoid using towels on your hair and apart from that those hoops on on the towel will get your your kinks will get entangled with those hoops and break off so instead use a t-shirt to dry your hair and not a towel now the next mistake that you may, you may be making on your natural hair that is not allowing your hair to retain as, as much moisture as it should oh my god i am tongue-tied <laughs> as much moisture as it should is relying only on oils for moisture oils and butters they have their place you in a moisturizing regimen they are to seal in moisture and not the main source of moisture so you do not rely only on moist on oils for moisture you're supposed to use a deep conditioner a leave-in conditioner a moisturizing product a moisturizing milk and if you're into the LOC life then get, go ahead and then use your oil to seal the moisture in and not using or relying only on the oils for moisture the next thing that you may be doing, or the next mistake you may be making that is making your natural hair dry is skipping deep conditioning. Make sure that you deep condition your hair when you are washing your hair or at least give, have a consistent schedule when it comes to um, moisture, moisturizing your hair and deep conditioning your hair because deep conditioner, like I always say here on my channel, a deep conditioner is food and nutrition for your natural hair you can go days 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 except you're fasting for a religious purpose but not having but going days and days and days without food and water your body is not going to be nourished okay so that's the same thing with your natural hair your deep conditioner is your hair's food do not starve your hair of food or else it won't be able to retain as much moisture as it should and won't be able to thrive so the next mistake you may be making or my last mistake of the day is over manipulation when you you put your hands in your hair too much i know that there are times that your hair is all cute so cute like your afro is popping your curl definition is popping i know and that is so tempting to put your hands in your hair that brings me to the hand in hair syndrome this is something that i actually experimented on and it is true putting your hands too much in your hair will remove moisture from your hair your hands your hand is it's skin so it's good when you put your hands into your hair and fondle with your hair your skin is absorbing that moisture so it's taking out the moisture from your hair into your hands okay so you lose the moisture from your hair and then it's going to make the place or that spot you're always touching weak and fragile and it can also break off so stop manipulating your hair too much remove your hands from your hair <laughs> remove your hands from your hair is going to help you to retain moisture so those are what that's what i have for you today that's the six or seven mistakes that you are making that can that doesn't allow you to retain as much moisture as you should and it's always making your hair dry so that is what i have for you today does any of these mistakes sounds like what you normally do let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends or anybody you know this video will be helpful to and don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications to all so that you can be notified each time I post a new video okay I hope that these things will this video will help you to stop doing certain things so that your hair can stop being hard and dry and retain as much moisture as it should for your hair to thrive and grow healthy thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye